Wrapping up his sophomore campaign with a national title, he is already becoming one of the most decorated pole vaulters in SFA history. Now, Tyler Legacy grad Branson Ellis would love to top things off by making the U.S. Olympic team over the next few days. He didn't start pole vaulting until the end of his freshman year of high school, yet he became a two-time state champion as a Red Raider and a 6A record holder. Over the last three years at SFA, Branson Ellis says he has completely changed his lifestyle, literally soaring to new heights. In high school, it was more of, of a hobby, you know. Uh, it's something to do after class, and yeah, you get to skip school for it to go to track meets and stuff like that. But now it, it, it's a lifestyle. I've, I've completely rearranged my whole entire life to and dedicated it to pole vault. Part of that mindset comes from never settling on being average. I don't want to just be okay. I like to be the best at anything, you know, I try to do. Whenever I was a gymnast, I didn't want to be just a mediocre gymnast. And I'm not trying to do that with pole vault either. I want to be the best that I can be and try to be one of the best in the world. And while he secured an invite to the Olympic trials over a year ago, that sentiment goes right along with his new vision now that he has a national title. I've been thinking for a new goal now because, you know, I don't want to go the rest of my college years just being like, well, I've done what I've wanted to do, you know, and be satisfied with it. I'm happy that I did it, but I'm, I'm still not satisfied. I, I'm still striving for more. In a field of 24 vaulters, Ellis has to finish among the top 12 Saturday in Eugene, Oregon to reach Monday's finals. If he lands among the top three then, it's on to Tokyo. Nonetheless, he'll be hard to miss with what has become his recognizable trademark Texas cowboy hat. At UT in, te at UT in Texas, they, they don't let me jump there without it. They said if I ever showed up uh, to a meetup there and I wasn't wearing it, then they'd scratch me. They wouldn't let me jump. And don't forget, we are officially 35 days away from the opening ceremonies in Tokyo, and everyone here at KTK is counting down the days till the games start. Go Team USA, go Branson Ellis, best of luck to him. As we mentioned, Saturday, he tries to qualify to the finals in the pole vault in the U.S. Olympic trial.